I have on several hats this morning because my hair is wet. I had to wash it this morning anyway. That's not why I'm on here. Um, as a mom, um, and this can go for mothers and fathers, but I'm really just talking about a mom right now because I'm the one that had this experience. Um, don't be afraid to speak up for your child, your children, and pay attention to them. So this morning, um, majority of the time we let our kids uh, get some more lighting. Uh, the majority of times we let our children catch the bus. And if we have time or if we run late, we'll take them to school. Well, this morning, um, the bus was full. Um, and I guess the uh, driver had to um, turn things around a little bit for the capacity of the kids that he had, she had on, on, the, uh, on the bus. My boys normally sit together when they get on the bus, okay? This morning, when they got on, she was like, um, boy, she was like, Gavin, get on this seat. Evan, get on this seat. And she told me, she said, we got a, we got a full bus this morning. I get that. So I stood there. Um, I watched Gavin get on the seat with two other students, two other smaller kids around his age. And I saw Evan get on a seat with the older guy. He looked like he could have been a teenager. He had to have been maybe 13, 14 years old. Evan looked so uncomfortable. He's not used to that. I didn't like that. So me being mommy, I had enough time to drive and catch the bus driver. Blink my lights, um, got out of the car. She stopped the bus. I said um, to the bus driver, Evan looks very uncomfortable on that seat with that older kid. Can you move him to a seat with a smaller child? She was like, okay, I'll do that. So I know she she gave me her word. I moved back and um, stood there to see if it got done. So she swapped Evan out with another kid so that Evan and Gavin can sit by each other. I said that to say this, don't be afraid. It's your child. They're your children. Pay attention and stand up for them.